De no resolverse las fallas en materia laboral, el nuevo acuerdo comercial entre Estados Unidos, México y Canadá, TEMEC, no debe ser aprobado, porque sería desastroso para los trabajadores de los tres países, advirtió Richard Trumpka, titular de la Federación Laboral Americana y Congreso de Organizaciones Industriales. Mexicans have, uh, the Mexican government has the fewest inspectors of any Latin American country. The fewest. If you're going to have a labor law, you have to have adequate inspectors. So you have to have a well-financed plan with recognizable timetables. That's what has to happen on, on, uh, to, for the implementation of the law. And then the agreement has to have correct some of the inadequacies in the labor chapter and make it enforceable. And when we, if we do that, we get the yes. If we don't do that, then we don't get the yes. El mayor líder sindical de Estados Unidos y opositor al TEMEC expuso que en la nueva versión del Tratado de Libre Comercio de América del Norte no se puede cometer el mismo error del primer acuerdo, en el que se favoreció a los ricos y a las empresas transnacionales. First of all, I was uh, very impressed with the president's commitment to working people in this country. Uh, I have not a doubt in my mind about his good intentions and his desire to fight, to make, to, to change the culture in this country from a low-wage society to one where wages can rise and a middle class can exist. Uh, and he's committed to that. that. That's a good thing. We still have parts of the agreement that we think need to be worked on. So we will work on those parts of the agreement. Uh, we want to make sure that the, the laws that were adopted here will be, can be enforced. Because if they can't be enforced, they're useless. If the trade agreement can't be enforced, it's useless. And an unenforceable trade agreement is a windfall for corporations and a disaster for workers. Richard Trumpka se reunió con el presidente Andrés Manuel López Obrador y enfatizó que el trabajo de ambos es para ayudar la economía de los trabajadores. I, I could say it was a positive. We were both looking for solutions. Everybody in the room was looking for solutions. Uh, we're, we're concerned that given the array of power uh, that doesn't want the law to change, it's going to be a difficult task. We want to make sure that it happens. Anybody who has benefited from the old system wants to maintain the status quo. They don't want wages in a Mexican worker to rise. They've been doing quite well by keeping wages low. And that's just not an acceptable way uh, for us to agree to. My brothers and sisters in Mexico deserve to have fair wages and dignity and a share of the wealth that they help produce. And we think this agreement can do one of two things. It can help them get that, or it can prevent them from getting that. We're going to make sure that it helps them get that, rather than prevents them from getting it. The Mexican economy is 68% driven by consumer spending. It can never grow unless consumers have enough money to spend When they spend, they create demand. When they create demand, they create jobs. The old model of keeping wages artificially low has got to be eliminated. And this agreement can help do that. So that's, until the trade agreement addresses that, it's going to be difficult to press.